Welcome back to the workshop. So what do you do after you've already made everyone in your family a cutting board? Well, you make a whole crap ton of these bench scrapers. Let's get started. First step is to cut down the stainless steel. Each piece is four inches by six inches, so I put a cutoff wheel in my circular saw and went to work. Just make sure you're cutting on the correct side of the saw horse. Well, it turns out sparks and cardboard don't mix very well, but the day is saved by my expert firefighting skills. Next, I cleaned up anything out of square with a flat disc in my angle grinder. After that, I cleaned up any rough patches in the belt grinder. Then I use my random orbital sander to clean up any tool marks on the surfaces. Started with 88 and went all the way to 400 grit. And it turns out the 400 grit is pretty close to the finish that you see on most kitchen stainless steel. Now it's time for the woodworking on this woodworking channel. I got some inch and a half by inch and a half by 12 turning blanks and cut them down into four pieces. I saved the bandsaw dust from each species of the wood. You'll see why near the end of the video. To cut the slot for the blade, I pulled it towards me in the bandsaw in order to see the line. I found out if I wiggled the wood back and forth, the curve would be just the perfect size for the stainless steel. I took one of the handles and sketched out a profile on it. Then I cut it out, sanded it smooth, and used it as a template for the rest of the handles. After I cut out each one, it's time to shape them. Wear gloves for this. If you haven't accidentally sanded yourself with a 36 grit belt, well, it's something you want to avoid. Ask me how I know. Hey, if you're new to this channel and haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell too so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you. After they're all roughed out with 36 grit, I switched to a 120 grit belt. The back side of the grinder had the perfect amount of slack to smooth out the curves. Then I finished them up with 220 grit on the random orbital sander. I assign each handle a blade and then use the epoxy to attach them. And there's a small bevel in the blade so I ground that out next. Time for the sawdust I save. I put a small dab of super glue on the ends of the handles and then filled it in with sawdust to hide the gap the bandsaw left. And then I sanded it smooth and cleaned up any epoxy that leaked during the glue up. I 
I did a final 400 grit sanding on each blade, put some salad bowl finish on the handles, and we're done. Thanks for watching. That was a lot of fun. I got to play with some metal, got to play with some wood, and they turned out pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Anyways, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, check out one of these videos up here, and I'll see you on the next one.